Marriage is a gift of love, whereby a man is joined to his wife, and the two become one. Those who enter into marriage are to cherish a mutual esteem and love for one another, to bear with one another's faults and weaknesses, to comfort and care for one another in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, to be honest and faithful to one another, to care and provide for their household, and to pray for and encourage one another as they live their lives together as one. Elizabeth, when I ask you the same question, what do you love about John? You share with me that he is such a caring person who takes good care of his family, his friends. You love how John always keeps his promises and that you both share the same values. You especially love how he's so affectionate and caring towards you. For me, Lisa was always like a rosebud. You know, like this tiny, tiny flowers, uh, flowers that's about to blossom. And I really enjoy watching this transformation over years. You know, at first I saw how a girl became a woman. Then I saw how she became a wife. And I hope to see how she becomes a mother anytime soon. John. Will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, keep only her, as long as you both shall live? If so, please say, I will. I will. Elisaveta, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, keep only him, as long as you both shall live? I will. Sometimes when I tell other friends and acquaintances, you know, about him, they ask me, you know, how did he do it? How did it, some long-haired Asian guy, you know, guitar playing, surfing, hippie-like, free, you know, free-spirited guy from a quiet little beach town, you know, get where he got today. The way I put it, my take on it is two things. Uh, I would say, in my words, it would be passion and perseverance. And, um, but for now, Lisa has one important mission. She dedicated herself to her husband and she decided to be the best wife in the world, not less. And I'm not joking, because this is how she rolls. She takes a great care of John. She always on his side. And she believes in him. She believes in their family and she believes in their future. This certainly is your goal, but as we can see, it's quite a lofty one. In fact, it's, it's such a high standard that none of us can perfectly meet it. And so that's why you'll need help. And though you won't perfectly love like this all the time, you can receive help to love like this consistently. The help that you need to love like this comes from God because God is love and love comes from God. Thank you so much for letting us share in this big day, you know, the next big chapter in your lives, and uh, the best days are yet to come. To John and Elizabeth. and John, may God continually fill you with this great love of His so that you will love one another throughout your lives and in your marriage. Congratulations and may God bless you.